The Motorized Lighthouse is the latest LEGO idea set, a theme known for its one-of-a-kind LEGO sets and that has been providing LEGO fans with some fantastic products over the years. The Lighthouse is one of the fantastic ones and funnily enough only really shines in the dark. The highlight of the set is clearly the Lightroom with its beacon working in a very similar way as a real lighthouse would and this was achieved with a very smart mechanism that I'll show in detail later on. A lot of space has been sacrificed sacrifice to make room for all of the electric components that make this work, but fortunately that does not mean that the working function is the only thing the model has to offer, it's quite the opposite. And it's worth mentioning that the original idea for the set was micro scale, but the LEGO designers decided to go for minifigure scale, which I don't mind at all since it will make this a great addition to people's custom LEGO cities and displays. The two minifigures included look really good and fit the theme perfectly. A sailor girl with what I believe to be new prints and a hat that I don't remember ever seeing before in dark green and the lighthouse keeper again featuring prints I believe to be new and a golden telescope on his hand. I quite like his expression and you can't really tell if he's worried or happy. The sailor has a white boat, a previously existing element made white this time around with a sticker in the back that with a total of 5 in the set is probably the only thing I dislike about the model. There's also a chain to dock this to the lighthouse pier, a bucket, compass and a small cat that has no business going near water. The box of the set lets us know the boat does not float, which I found hard to believe since the boat element doesn't have any holes, and so I had to put it to the test. As it so happens the boat does float, so maybe some corrections are in order. Moving on to the main build, something that stands out straight away is the new base plate color in dark blue that I'm sure will appeal to a lot of LEGO fans looking to build their C displays in other colors than just regular blue. At the base we see a rock formation on which the main build sits upon, and you would think this could be a very boring thing to build and look at, but the designers made sure to make it as interesting as possible, starting with a pier where the boat can dock and that gives access to the lighthouse. It's built at an angle which I love since it breaks the straight lines of the LEGO system and uses a few different LEGO elements for the stonework effect. The gap seen at the top of the stairs does bother me a little as this could have been easily fixed with one of these elements in light grey. To the right there's a cave with a hidden treasure inside which is cool and adds a bit of play to the set. There's a bat up here and the cave is actually the place where we find the switch to turn the lighthouse on. I like that it's hidden like this so it doesn't take away from the looks of the build in any way whatsoever. Surrounding the whole base there's the water effect achieved with a bunch of different transparent elements, we see some rock formations peeking under the water, a lost anchor and a seagull which is probably the one responsible for these droppings by the nest. At the top of the rock formation the grass color is olive green, not so common in lego sets so all always great to see, with a few spots of sand green as well, with the highlight going to this botanical element in the same color, yet another element that LEGO fans will try to hoard for their custom builds. The lighthouse itself is made out of two connected buildings, the lighthouse tower and the living quarters of the lighthouse keeper. The detailing on these is really good, I really like the stonework of the corners of these walls here as an example, and it always puts a smile on my face seeing the tan colored ingot elements still being used in LEGO sets after I introduced this recolor for the first time in 2019's gingerbread house that I designed while still working for LEGO. The dark green brick built door and windows together with the dark red roof are great color choices in my eyes and give a more mature feel to the model. The roof can be removed to reveal the living quarters of the lighthouse keeper and we can see how this space is very cramped, but packs all the essentials the man might need. When one thing to note though is that when we turn on the lighthouse, one of the lights of the LED light component made its way to the heater down here, shining through the transparent orange elements there and giving the space a very cozy feel. It's hard to see in broad daylight, but if you turn down the lights around you'll be able to see the orange shining through the windows, which is really cool. There's only a small piece of wiring that can be seen outside while the rest of it is hidden underneath the outer walls of the lighthouse. 
lighthouse, which is great. The lighthouse itself can be accessed from the living quarters through this hallway here, and from the back we can remove pieces of the wall to reveal the interior of the tower with a system of ladders that allows the lighthouse keeper to go all the way up. The tower could be seen as a boring structure, but it was made in a tapered shape to make it look more interesting. The windows break the surface in a nice way, and there's some rocks, foliage and studs here and there to make the whole thing look more appealing. The light room, however, is the most interesting aspect of the whole build. The glassed windows were made with the use of garage roller door section elements in trans clear, connected to both the base and the top dome, with jumper plates and 1x2 round plates with holes. Lifting the tower reveals this surprisingly simple mechanism that makes the beacon work. A technique cross axle connected to a motor running from the base is hidden inside this whole wall. At the top, that same cross axle is connected to the small gear that makes this Technic turntable element turn, to which the new Fresnel lens element assembly is connected. Underneath it, there's this 2x3 tile with a mirror sticker on, sticker by the way that came completely crumpled in my box. This reflects the light of the second LED that is connected underneath this old section. It looks complex, but it isn't, though I'm sure getting to this result must have taken an insane amount of looping. And the end result is completely mesmerizing and one of the strongest selling points of this set. The Fresnel element, by the way, is super interesting, made in the exact same way as real Fresnel lenses from real lighthouses are made through layers of ring-shaped glass lenses. And there's a two-pager on the instruction booklet explaining all about it and showing a few prototypes done by LEGO before they got to the final result. I love the attention to detail on this set, the simple mechanisms that achieve so much, the clever building techniques, color choices and even the fact that the designers thought about having the back of the battery box easily accessible by removing a section of the rock formation at the bottom, if you ever run out of juice on your batteries and need to switch them out. At the time of recording, LEGO hasn't shared the price of this set, so I'll have to guess that with little over 2000 pieces, with some of them being expensive electronic parts, this will probably be priced between $250 and $300, which to me feels more than fair for what you're getting. A great building experience, an amazing display piece with some potential for play, and an incredibly simple function that turned an otherwise plain model into one of the most interesting LEGO sets the company has released in the last few years.